Everywhere you look, things are getting smarter. Homes have smart thermostats, locks, and light bulbs. Even the doorbell watches you these days. Buildings and factories are no different. Assembly lines, HVAC systems, robotics all have increased levels of intelligence. We're starting to expect the convenience, flexibility, and fun of our smartphone experience and more of the things we use every day. Funny thing is, as designers add intelligence to all the various types of applications they work on, the real estate for these applications isn't growing. In fact, things keep getting smaller. So we are adding more functionality, more communication, and more power to enable a richer experience. But we're not adding more space to accommodate all of these features and functions. As a designer, you're facing some tough challenges. Shrinking form factors, increasing power budgets, with no increase in thermal budget, and the stress of getting the design done quickly to satisfy tight market windows. That's why it's a good time to take a closer look at the DC-DC converter and how this power supply component can help you achieve your design goals. Let's take a look at some major DC to DC converter architectures. The controller architecture consists of a controller, external FETs, an external inductor, and external compensation. Its disadvantages include a high component count, which means more design time to size the components and the compensation network in order to achieve good performance. The converter architecture includes internal FETs, an external inductor, and internal compensation. Its advantages include a smaller component count and improved design time and reliability. The simplest architecture to review is the module, which includes internal FETs, an internal inductor, and internal compensation. Its advantages include minimal components, quick design time, and the highest reliability of all the architectures we've discussed. The best way to see the impact of the progress made in the DC to DC converter architectures is by looking at the space they take up on the board. As you can see from left to right, we've shown from the controller solution all the way to the latest and greatest power module. Each step has taken a bite out of the solution size and created open space for other application needs. Maxim has introduced the smallest DC to DC power modules to date with the widest input voltage, up to 60 volts max. These new microslick power modules are super small, only 2.6 millimeters by 3 millimeters. With this tiny size, they rival LDOs. This is key to solving space and thermal challenges. Maxim's new microslick power module is the latest example of a decade's worth of DC to DC converter integration evolution. Power your device using minimal board area and leave precious board space for more product innovation. Visit www.maximintegrated.com backslash uslick to learn more about the microslick power modules or to order a sample and eval kit today.